Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 has released. And I wanted to make this video to talk about the game because I've been watching it and I want to start this off right away by saying if the game does great and the game ends up being great, that's awesome. However, I wanted to make this video to talk about the game in general and I want to know people's opinion on it, on those who have been playing it, because for me, I don't want to spend 60 right now to give it a shot. I've been watching Kony play it. To me, it really just doesn't seem... I don't... It's so weird, because in terms of polish and all of the things that the first one lacked, it seems like it's all there. The problem is, is that the gameplay itself, to me, just doesn't seem as... I don't know. I don't know what word to use, because... I don't want to say that it doesn't look as good because, again, it's more polished. But if I had to describe it, and this is where maybe this video gets a million dislikes, I don't know. If I had to describe it, it looks like it got slowed down similar to what happened with Smash Bros throughout its history. Like, I think Ultimate's great, but when you look at, like, Smash 4, it's crazy how different the speed is in that game compared to Ultimate. And I actually saw somebody in chat uh, in Kony's stream say that it kind of looked like Smash 4, uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. And it's not that, you know, speed's everything. Like, like, oh, it's not as fast as this, so it's bad. But it seemed decently slower to where it was really noticeable for me to where I honestly thought that the game was lagging and it was interesting because somebody said is anyone else's twitch messing up for them I think they felt the same way now I was watching him play as Ren and Stimpy that could have had an effect maybe Ren and Stimpy's just not as fast as other characters but with watching the gameplay in general it just there's something about it that just doesn't feel or like I mean I'm not playing it so I, I can't say feel but it just doesn't look like what the first one had brought to the table the first one I think there was so much hype around the idea of a platform fighter with Nickelodeon characters that we didn't really care about what we were seeing in terms of no I mean of, co of course we cared right I guess it's just that, like, we were so enthralled by the fact that it was like we're getting a Nickelodeon platform fighter and there's all these Nickelodeon characters and this is so hype that when we saw the fast paced action, at first we didn't realize, like, because we, we didn't get to play it yet. So we didn't realize, like, oh, this is actually very, very broken, very, very unpolished. This is not really that good. With this one, the second one, it seems like, oh, this is polished. But I admit, and it could be broken, I don't know. It may not be broken, but I don't think it comes off as fun as the first one hypothetically could have. Because before all of this stuff was figured out and before it was shown that it, the game was just broken, All-Star Brawl 1 was a lot of fun. It was fun moving around. And I think it felt like it kind of knew what it was. It was like, yeah, this may not be the most, like, sound platform fighter, like, like the most polished and everything. Like, there were so many wacky things going on. But it also kind of gave it its charm. It was like, yeah, this is a very goofy platform fighter with Nickelodeon characters, and you can kind of zoom across and do all these crazy things. Now that they're trying to be, like, more polished, it almost feels like it kind of takes away from what the first one was going for, and maybe that's not what they were going for, and they just ended up that way. I don't know. Well, obviously, they didn't want it broken, but in terms of, like, how fast it was and everything, and again, I, I want to make it clear, it's not just speed. Like, speed isn't the only thing that makes the game. But watching the combat, it just... I feel like it'll get old within a week. And I think what this game is going to suffer is it's going to have that content creator hype. And I'm not knocking content creators. I'm not saying that they're just sitting there being hyped to be hyped. Not saying that. 
But when you're making content and you're playing the game to make content, you can have fun with it for a week or two and just like have a blast in that period of time you're playing, make the video, and then you're good to go. But in terms of taking it serious, not saying that they're not taking it seriously, but like taking it seriously as in like, I'm going to grind the game for hours. I'm going to like learn all this tech. I'm going to do all this stuff. I don't really think that's going to be happening with this. And this is so early to be talking about this. So like, who knows? I could be way off. There could be patches. There could be like tons of hype that just builds up and the game gets huge. I Anything could happen. But all I know is that for the launch of the game right now, there's uh, just under 2,000 people playing on Steam. That's not good. And, you know, it has cross-platform and everything, so that's not the telltale sign of everything, but that's not a lot of people. Granted, today is launch day. Maybe people will wait to get it, whatever. Still not a lot of people, though. 2,000 already? Like, I thought today would be the day where it's like, okay, we're going to see, like, a big chunk. Like, I was expecting at least, like, eight to 10,000. And then, like, maybe it dwindles down. Just under 2,000 on the day of release, I don't think is that good. So, I don't know. Again, like, it's, it's weird making these types of videos because no matter how I word it and how much I try to exclaim, like, I don't want to be negative. And I don't, I'm not sitting here like the game will fail. Oh, it's gonna fail. I don't know. I have no idea. This is just my opinion on the matter. And I gotta be honest, I feel like the signs are pointing to that I don't think this game is going to be that big. And again, I could be wrong. And I don't, I, I'm not sitting here excitingly saying this, like, oh, it's gonna fail. Like, we don't know. And, uh, you know, it'd be great if it did well. Because maybe over time, maybe I start to really enjoy watching it. I don't know. But from what I've seen right now, it's just, it's not hitting the same way that the first one did. And maybe it's a case of, you know, there was lightning in a bottle with that first one. But I will say, the first Hungry Box tournament with All Star Brawl 1 was where it was like, oh my gosh, this is super hype. So maybe when that first big tournament happens, maybe that's where all of this changes. I don't know. The only thing with that, though, is like what I said earlier about how the content creator hype, because there's going to be a lot of people in that tournament that make content. I don't know how many people are going to be buying the game to do that tournament, because even in Kony's stream... I saw someone say, I just don't know if I'm going to dip another 60 bucks in this game. And that's where I think the issue is. I think had this game, had this second one be the first one, I think this would just be such a different story. I think it's going to come down to how many people were burnt out on the first one for, the, for this one to do well. Because they, they, like already you have a niche audience and a big chunk of that niche audience dipped into the first one. So I think they're really going to have to try to get those people on board. And one thing too, that I'd like to mention is that like, there could be patches for this game where maybe things change and it starts to like be different. And, Cause you know, I know I talked a ton about the speed of the game at the start and I, I really don't want people to take away from this video. Like, ah, oh, he just thinks it's going to be bad because of the speed of it. It's just, to me, it just seemed so drastic when I was watching it. And maybe, again, maybe that's just where I'm just so used to the first one. If I start watching tournaments, maybe I get on board. I don't know. But I feel like if I had to put all of it in words, it's that the first game, it was clearly janky, but it was so fast that it was, it was fun. This game, to me, still seems janky. Like, it... I don't look at this game like if you put Smash Bros and, and this game side by side and did like moves, you could tell the difference of like, like if you had to rank which one's like more polished and more sound, you I mean, it's opinion. 
But I'd reckon most people would go with Smash. And that's not to bring up the whole, like, oh, like, you know, the, the Smash killer, like, All-Star Brawl will be the Smash killer. It's It's nothing about any of that. It's just that what I'm trying to say is that I just feel like no matter what, unless if things drastically changed, the way that All-Star Brawl is, it just comes off as kind of janky. So I feel like with the speed, what seems to me toned down, and maybe I'm wrong, but to me it seems toned down, which again is not always something bad, but the fact that it still seems janky to me, like watching gameplay, it just really didn't, I don't know. It just feels like a slowed down, more polished All-Star Brawl 1. And I feel like the speed and the jankiness were part of the charm of the first one. It's just the fact that the first one was just so broken. And it, this game does have the slime mechanic, which is something that like has to be explored. So, you know, I'm sure that the nuance can be fun. But early impressions from watching it, it doesn't seem like anything special. But hey, we could look back at this video and go, and even myself, I could go back and look and go, I was way off when I see that first tournament. So maybe I make a follow up to this after I see another tournament. Uh, if my feelings are the same, I probably won't because I don't know. I don't really like to get on camera and just talk negative about something because it just, it bums out the hype. Like I'm sure there's people that are hype about the game and they want it to do well, but at the same time, I still want to talk about stuff and it is what it is, you know, like, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point, or I'm going to start rambling if I haven't already. So I'm going to end the video, but just let me know what you guys think of it. Like, if you have, even if you don't have it, like, let me know, like, what, what your early thoughts are on the game. But definitely if you have it, because I'm very curious, like, to see if people are really digging it. And it's a case of, like, yeah, man, like, you, you really just got to, like, like, give it a little bit. Like, just give it a little bit. Um because it could be that but i'm definitely afraid of it being a content creator game where the videos do well and we see like a bunch of cool fun videos but player base just dies right off that's what i'm afraid of and again no knock to i'm making content on it so it's no knock on that it's just that's just kind of the term i'm giving it because just because people are you know, showing videos a bunch of love, that doesn't translate to sales. That doesn't trans or to automatic sales. Like it can help, but it doesn't necessarily mean that a bunch of people are actually going to go buy it or that a bunch of people are going to want to dive into the game. So I don't know. Again, we could look back at this video and go, wow, I was way off. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, you know, like I'm going to watch that first tournament and see how it goes. And yeah, I don't know. Again, rambling phase, gonna end the video. But yeah, let me know what you think of all this and take care.